Hi, Ryan Gravel with Grow Out New Energy here. I'm here to speak with you as far as our new Shiner commissioning app, which is used for configuration and maintenance of your Growbot MIN series inverters and soon to come SPH and WIT inverters. With the equipment, as you can see on the app here, you'll first be greeted with a login screen to which you can enter your username and password and hit login. If you have any need to set up an account, please feel free to contact your distributor or GrowWatt customer support to get access to an account. Once you've logged into your account and you're next to a local machine, you should see your machine listed with the serial number matching the sticker on the left-hand side of your inverter. To connect to that inverter, you would simply click the serial number of the device you would like to connect to and enter the check code, which would be on that left-hand sticker. As we enter that, we then will now connect, and after just a moment, it'll first check for the localized firmware on the hardware, just to make sure as you're commissioning, you have the newest and best functionality and commissioning ability. As we log into the app, as you'll see on your screen, we can see the firmware version in the top row next to the data logger and app version. Below that, we can see the communication protocols that are being used, whether Wi-Fi or an RK cellular 4G network. Below that, we have operating information as far as PV production and grid frequency. Uh, below that, our state of charge, because in this particular case, we do have the system equipped with our GrowWatt APX battery and SYN whole home residential backup switch. Uh, below that, again, we also have things such as our input import export metering and other grid control parameters. In order to configure the hardware, we're first going to enter in the top right hand corner under quick configuration. Here you'll have quick access to things such as networking, ESS and EMS battery modes, grid profile settings, smart meter communication for import export limitation, or zero export with your grid utility. So once we're into the quick configuration menu, again, you'll have access to your most common settings across a GrowWatt inverter and ESS system items such as your communication to the web, your metering, the ability to bind your hardware to an online monitoring site so both you as an installer and your end user customer can see the production and performance of their solar and add to that excitement. And from a servicing perspective, obviously give you insight as to possible concerns that might exist on site to optimize the efficiency of a truck roll. That said, as we go through the settings, for example, we can check our grid profiles in our grid settings. As you can see, we have a whole host of different grid profiles to meet the requirements of different utilities across North America, United States and Canada, uh, as well as both 208 and 240 grid settings. As we configure those, we can back out to the quick config menu to continue to set settings on the EMS. As we come in, again, we can prioritize our loads versus our grid versus our battery. We can enable AC charging and off-grid functionality. We can also AC couple in the event you're adding a GrowWatt ESS system to an already existing PV solution. Uh, again, for maximum compatibility and benefit. At the bottom of the quick configuration, you'll also see your grid profile settings report as well as your installation information. Grid Profile Settings Report would be used for utilities that may not have familiarity with grow up products already, allowing them to see our performance, interconnection standards, and requirements based on utility feedback. Below that, we also have installation information, which is going to be an installer on-site summary to verify the commissioning and functionality status of the hardware. By clicking on that installation information, as you can see here, once the information loads, you can see things like your grid code, your PV performance, what usage profiles are configured, as well as firmware and the like. Also, you can verify fault or warning codes to make sure that the commissioning was successful and nothing was left incomplete during the initial installation. If everything is adequate, you can press export. That will allow you to save a PDF or a JPG file of that summary and again, then upload it to your database for in-office review and quality assurance. That said, again, we thank you for joining GrowWatt today as this informative video on Shiner Commissioning app. And if you have any questions or issues, feel free to contact the GrowWatt support team and we're happy to help you.